because of a significant increase of cases among younger people. The concerning new trend prompted the State Department of Health to send out alerts over the weekend. Health reporter Stephanie Stoll is here now with the updates. Steph? Well, Yuki, the Department of Health says that the spike in COVID-19 cases is mainly related to younger people traveling and socializing. Officials worry the increased numbers of young people with the virus could lead to an increase of cases in older, more vulnerable people. This is the alert titled Changing Epidemiology of COVID-19 Case Demographics that was sent to health care providers over the weekend from the Pennsylvania Department of Health. The new trend, a significant increase of cases among younger people, mainly between the ages of 19 to 24, driven by scenes like this from Allegheny County that includes Pittsburgh, where people are crowded together, not following safety precautions. Statewide, we have been seeing increases in the number of new cases of COVID-19 in Pennsylvania. Nearly half of the positive cases in the state now are in people under 50, which could trigger more infections and deaths among the elderly again. At the start of the pandemic, we saw a higher number of cases right at the beginning in people ages 19 to 49 before it spread to seniors age 65 and older. The state health alert said the increased cases among young adults is associated with social gatherings at parties, restaurants, in bars, plus travel to other affected parts of the country. We're concerned, of course, about the rapid increases that we have seen in those other states. We're concerned about traveling, um, and we're concerned that one state will lead to a next continuous state and, and head north and head east. Uh, so those are all things that we watch really, really carefully. New research also shows one-third of young people may be at risk of getting seriously sick, even dying from COVID-19, if they smoke or vape. Smoking, which is recently increased among young adults was the most common risk factor for severe complications. And with over 95,000 cases, Pennsylvania now has the 10th highest number in the United States. Dr. Levine says the increase is partially due to more testing and that the state is not looking to impose new statewide restrictions because we so far have avoided the surge of cases like what's happening in places like Florida and Texas. Yuki.